War Eagle. And welcome not only to the Coach and Crew Show, where I am your host, Charlie Krause, but welcome to college basketball season. And was it me, or did this crowd just seem overly ready to explode? It was almost like it's been a rough fall with the football program. And the football program is what it is. But you can just tell the Auburn faithful were ready to explode and celebrate and have a good time and welcome back that something's got a lot of promise that's going to take them through March and hopefully into April. Furthermore, so with that, George Mason came to town from the A-10 conference. And that's a conference I actually know a lot about and have a lot of following towards. So are they a front runner for, for the A-10 title? No, they are not. But could they finish as high as probably fourth? Possibly so. They could also probably finish as low as about, unfortunately, double digits. So how is George Mason going to respond to that type of atmosphere? And the atmosphere started off electric. And if I could think of a better word to describe the atmosphere, I would. But we'll, let's just go with electric. It was like KD's expressions. All right. That fan base is awesome. That Auburn Arena, Neville Arena is one of the best, toughest places and probably most fun places to play in the country. Prove to me on a night in, night eight basis what Bruce Pearl has done over the past nine seasons, this being the ninth season, uh, to Auburn Neville Arena and the way he's transformed it into a true jungle. It's awesome. Game itself. Auburn started off fast and started an explosion. It was a big lead early, and they never looked back. But, or and, this is only game one. So only game one. So we can nitpick if we want. And, you know, since I'm here, we'll, we'll, I did make some observations, positive and negative. Clearly, this team is going to play with enthusiasm. Clearly, this team is going to play with heart and emotion and wear it on their sleeve like Coach Pearl does. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. In fact, that's a very good thing, okay? That's a very good thing. Not only that, they have depth, and that's a good thing as well. And we'll get into that in, in, a, in a second. Having said that, there is a theory I have where you play – not in the red zone, but in the green zone. But unfortunately, the red zone could reach you again if you if you try to play above yourselves. And I felt like the basketball team was trying to play a little bit above themselves at times. And it's this is true for Pearl, even when he was at Tennessee and Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and possibly before that. Sometimes his guys get sloppy, and he doesn't mind fast shots as long as it's a good shot. And sometimes it's just a rush shot. And so it wasn't as efficiently, offensively efficient as it could be and as it should be. It's only game one. Those are little things they will improve upon. Let's start with who came back. Wendell Green back, led all Tigers in scoring with 16 points. He, he contributed four assists, and yeah, I mean, I don't think the point counted because of like a charging call, but did you see the pass off the backboard that he made? Or he And it was in coverage. It was in coverage. It wasn't uncontested. Holy cow. He brought the house down with that. Jalen Williams back. He had seven points, Okay. Zepp Jasper back. He's the true point guard. He just makes the offense work. So he contributed. Okay. KD, how can you not know who KD is? All right. He 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 led the team in three pointers with two. So there was a weakness, actually. Four of 25 shooting overall in three pointers. Definitely an area of opportunities to improve upon, to say the least. Okay, let's throw one new name out at well, Alan, Alan Flanagan also returns. Okay, so he's still around. But one new name to throw out, Johnny Broom, one of our trans, transfers in for the portal. He's from Moorhead State. 
12 points, but just a lot to offer and four blocks, okay? Adding to those four blocks, coming off the bench still, believe it or not, Dylan Cardwell, the big man, 44, okay? He had five. So Auburn basketball blocked another 10 shots tonight, and not a single one of them were by last year's defensive player of the year. So great things there, about 10 blocks. And just even if you don't block shots, the more you block, the more shots you're going to alter in the future because now they're expecting the block and they're going to rush it or adjust and make a bad-looking shot to help. And it just helps our, our, our things. So positive takeaways, the areas of opportunity, to say the least, throughout the game, okay? They also, they created turnovers, okay? They turned over the ball 19 times, okay? So they get... Did they get to the 20 point fresh point that I, I like to evaluate on if, if you get 20 or not? No, but they got to 19. And George Mason, most years, is actually a pretty sound fundamental team. Very rarely do they get run out the gym. Sometimes it's happened in the past. Fast break points. You like to see that in the double digits. They only had five. It, it just, it just, like I said, it felt a little rushed. They felt like they were trying to play above themselves a little too much. Three pointers hurting 425. That's never a good look. Free throw percentage 62%. I, I, I would assume most people would like to be in the 70s, 80s. I, 62% is where we started with. Just there it is. So, and then they got 21 points off of turnover, so that's that's good. Paint scoring, 32. So the big man's and, and rebounding were there. Second chance points, 25 of their 70 points came from second chance points. So there's a lot of good looks. Game two is this Friday night as they host South Florida. All right, Auburn faithful, what did you see? What did you like? What are your initial thoughts for game one? Let's keep it realistic. It's just game one. But the crowd for me was the number one takeaway. The absolute number one takeaway is Auburn basketball is back and the crowd is ready to explode for every home game this season. That's my number one takeaway. That's what I'm most excited about. Got the W and they can grow from it. And they had a lot of positives to build upon. Leave me your th feedbacks, please. Leave me your thoughts, please. And then also, please do me a favor of like and subscribe so you can see all of our videos coming throughout the entire season as we follow the journey that is the 2022-23 season. War Eagle, thanks for watching.